All right, Rankin family, I'm excited to bring to you this beautiful Jamestown Estate Homes right here in High Meadow Estates. Now, this is the model house, which is actually for sale. Um, if it's something where you would want to purchase this particular property, you would purchase it and then the model would be a lease back until the end of the year. But this one is nothing short of exceptional. So we have in here four bedrooms, four full baths, two half baths. We have a study over there to the right. We have a guest bedroom right here to the left, not to mention the primary towards the back. You're gonna absolutely love this one. We have to tackle this one together because this is over 5,000 square feet, 5,459 to be exact, which is outstanding. And you have a huge game room on top, but enough about that. We'll get into that pretty soon. What I want to make sure to do is showcase the exterior of the property. So if you notice, this property is elevated and you do have the natural stone on the exterior plus the stucco, which I absolutely love. And we don't see any brick, just natural stone and stucco, giving it more of that elegant look. And look at the exceptional landscape. And so Jamestown Estate Homes, we've seen them quite a bit. You know, they have some models out in Siena, uh, some models up in up north in uh, Artavia, but this one is probably the best one I think we've seen on this channel. So right here, you do have these lanterns on the uh, exterior of the property right before you go into the covered front porch. This is a candle-like uh, lantern. And then right here, before we go into the front of the property, you have the double doors with the glass panes. And then just looking in the great room, you're immediately hit with the tall ceiling. So you do have the candlelight wind, wagon wheel chandelier. It's the brass uh, wagon wheel chandelier, which a lot of folks absolutely love. So going in the great room, you do have the natural stone on the fireplace. It's an electric fireplace. You have the floating cabinets as well. So you have a perfect place to go ahead and put the decorations anything that you decide to to get just for decor itself it's a perfect place for you so if you notice on top we have the clear story windows bringing in plenty of natural light you have the sliders as well perfect for entertaining the guests and we have the great room connected to the kitchen so if you notice inside of the kitchen the tall ceilings continues which a lot of folks absolutely love you do have the stack cabinets on top you have the quartz countertops as far as the island is concerned with the breakfast bar wooden range hood we have the herringbone style backsplash as well and the brass hardware so what i'll do is i'll do a quick pan so that way you can see how much space we have inside of here really the video doesn't do it quite justice especially being inside of here you have that huge open concept that a lot of folks love especially my fellow folks that love to entertain guests and just have family over all the time. So if you notice, we have two wagon wheel chandeliers, one right in the kitchen and one in the great room. I love the uniformity of it. It really keeps everything simple and elegant. Now going into your breakfast nook, this can easily be utilized in an informal dining room, but you do have the oversized windows continuing along, just kind of bringing in that natural light, which a lot of folks love again. You have the chandelier right over your dining room table and just look how much space you have inside of here. So you have the tall baseboards as well going all along the property itself. And just look how much space you have. I mean, right here you have a eight seater dining table, but you can easily fit a 10 seater if you needed to. And I'll do one more quick pan before we continue throughout the property. So we'll start this way. This way connects as well to some common areas. And you'll definitely see that. So right here is going to be your oversized pantry. It's like a working pantry inside of here. Look how much storage shelves you have. I love the fact that it almost continues all the way to the ceiling and not to mention on the lower part as well right here. So you can easily put maybe some cases of water, stuff that really wants to be out of sight, out of mind, really just depends. So continuing along, you have this room right here, which is a built-in desk with the floating shelf. So if you recall, there was a Jamestown Estate Homes that we had seen not too long ago. It was um, in Houston, Texas. It was um, in the city and they had something similar to this that was going towards the end. So it was the floating shelves. You have the built-in desk, quartz countertops, 
stainless steel hardware plus you have the white cabinetry so right here would be your mud room right here you'd easily just go ahead and do so so that way you don't have to track any mud throughout the property and right here is going to be your utility room so the utility room is all centered from the uh, the mud room itself some folks love the mud room combination some folks love to have them separate so really just depends on your personal preference but right over there you have your dog wash you have all this cabinetry right here we've been seeing quite a bit with the refrigerator inside the utility room so i'd love to hear your thoughts as far as that's concerned so inside of here you have chrome hardware with the uh green cabinetry the darker green cabinetry right here as well and the quartz countertops extend on this side as well so what i'll do is i'll make sure to open this up for you so this is our cabinetry space like i say you have chrome handles chrome knobs knobs uh soft closing cabinets and right here you have plenty of space for an oversized washer and dryer the one thing that may make sense is just go ahead and add a pocket door right here so that way you don't have to worry about it hitting your washer and dryer all the time before we continue that way i want to make sure i open this door right here for you so that way you can see all the little pockets all the little storage areas and that way you can get a sense of the space and of course right here we are going to have our garage look how much space you have in the garage let me get the lights on for you so we're using it as a little storage area but you can just see the amount of space you have in here wow you also have extra space over here if you wanted to go ahead and you know work in here or some folks would just utilize this section as a workstation and then maybe that section over there as the garage itself because if you notice you have a long walkway as well so let's continue along let's make sure I, there is a guest room right to the left i'll make sure to show you that as well but let's go ahead and go this way so that we, we can see our common area so right here is going to be your game room look at this if you notice we have sliders inside the game room we have the oversized window again which i absolutely love and so high meadow estate is on the north west side of houston so right now we're probably about an hour an hour and 15 minutes depending on which uh, freeway you take to downtown houston but we're situated on a 1.82 acre home site and we're in like a small cul-de-sac, which is perfect. So a lot of folks love that. You may be wondering how tall the ceilings were in the great room. It was 20 foot ceilings. And just look at the wall of windows that you have inside of here. So we got wood flooring throughout the property and gosh, just the amount of space that you have in here is amazing all right so let me go ahead and turn you this way i'll try not to spin you too much i just want to make sure that you see everything but before we continue along there let's go ahead and take a look at your wet bar area right here so you know you have it right there all centered from your game room so that way folks just walk across right there get them a drink and go from there so we'll start in this section over here we have two bedrooms over here so we'll start to the back and make our way back here so this is one of the bedrooms right here and just look at this the one thing i really love about uh, this bedroom in particular is that it's far out here so if you have a, maybe a child that is a teenager especially teenagers they kind of want to be to themselves this is going to be a perfect place for you if you can just just see how much space you have in here um, of course we don't have a full bedroom set in here but you can easily fit queen size bed maybe even a king size bed plus the two nightstands a dresser and maybe even a chair and you still wouldn't compromise any space so you have a full size walk-in closets inside of here and this one actually has the bathroom attached to it which i absolutely love its own bathroom right here and you have access to the covered backyard patio so quartz countertops inside of here we have these stainless steel uh, excuse me this is brushed nickel actually this is brushed nickel hardware in here but we have a stainless steel lighting fixture on top and right here to the left you would have your toilet 
and then you have your full size walk in shower. Wow, the brick like shower surround. We have a shower bench in here and we do have a shower niche just right here. You can see. <laughs> so that's perfect. And just look at the amount of space that you have over here. Wow. Over an acre. A lot of times, you know, if we uh, people come out to Houston and then, you know, we really sometimes want some space. You don't want to have your neighbors right next to you. Some people really don't mind, to be quite honest with you. Um, especially if you're an extrovert and you love to talk to people, you might want your neighbors close, to be honest with you. So really just depends. But if it's something where you don't, you can go ahead and take a look at this section over here. Like I said, this is High Meadow Estates. Um, a lot of acreage over here, not to mention there's a couple builders in here. Partners in Building just sold out. I got to check in to see if they're going to be opening up some new sections in this community, but they, um, they had the model house over here and their lots are no longer available at the present time. So we'll see about that, which is a good thing, right? If they've been open for a year or two and there's still a ton of lots available, I don't, I don't know. It, Really didn't seem, it wouldn't seem like the demands there, but the fact that we don't have any lots, people want to be out here. So right here, we got our shower tub combination, chrome shower head. We have our shower niche that I so much love in the shower tub combo. And if you notice, you have that nice little backsplash as well in the shower niche. So quartz countertops again, we don't have mirror frames, but that's easily, um, you can easily add that once you close on this property, no big deal and make sure you stay to the end so I can show you the game room, the backyard, as well as the primary. It's on the other side of the house. We'll get to it, surely. So continuing out right here, this is gonna be our first powder bath. So you have the floating cabinets again, quartz countertops, you have your toilet right there as well. We have black um, handles, black hardware on this one with the white painted door. Right here, you have access. And if you notice, it extends all the way underneath these stairs right here. So you have plenty of space. Look at that, connect four. That's what I'm talking about. Even though I always lose at that, but. All right, so right here, you'd have access to the garage as well. So we already seen it on the other side. If you remember, we come from the utility room and that's where we would come from. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue back this way we'll see that third bedroom, the third guest bedroom, and then we'll continue to the primary and then go upstairs as well. But just look at the amount of space. I mean, 20 foot ceilings gives that illusion of a ton of space, which I absolutely love. So we'll continue this way. And this is gonna be your third bedroom. So inside of here, you definitely have plenty of space. This is one of the biggest rooms, the second biggest room, aside from, of course, the primary. But in here, you would most likely have a king size bed, full bedroom set. Plus you could even put a desk out here, seating area, whatever you need. And then it has a full size bathroom attached to it. Quartz countertops, great cabinetry, light gate, great cabinetry with the stainless steel hardware. And then a full size walk-in shower. So, so far folks, let me know what, what you're thinking about this one. I mean, quite frankly, I'm loving everything I'm seeing. A lot of times we see the model houses that have all the, throw, the uh, full bedroom sets in there. Um, but this one, of course, they have it for sale. So you really don't need to go ahead and add all that furniture if you're gonna take it out once it sells anyway. I actually was in a uh, community by James, with the Jamestown Estate Homes that I've showcased a couple times on this channel. Um, and that one was in Waller. It was in Lakeview Estates and, uh, or Lakeview in that one. Um, they had sold that model off quick. Then the next model they sold off quick. So homes are definitely going fast. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and take a look at the primary and then go upstairs to see the game room. So inside of here so far, we do have the tray ceilings. Wow. Look at that. Look at the oversized windows. I love that. So sometimes we see oversized windows, but there's three. As you can tell, you have two solid windows that brings in plenty of natural light. Look at that. 
So we have our accent wall right here as well. And I love the windows right above the headboard. Wow. If you can imagine, look at this. And then eventually it depends. I mean, some folks would want to clear this, but some folks would want to leave the tree. So that way it gives it that nature like feel, which is perfect. If you can imagine just in the morning having that view. Wow. And it is fenced. So you don't have to worry about that. So not only do we have access from the sliders, we have access as well from the game room, but you also have access from here in that first bedroom that we had seen. So three to four or four, yeah, four points of entry to the backyard. Wow. So inside of here, you have your king size bed, two oversized nightstands. Look at this, you have your dresser. Wow. You got your bench right there with a chair and you still have plenty of walk room. I love that. And then let's go ahead and take a look at our ensuite. Wow. Can't get much better than that. So we have our floating cabinets again. Now we have our mirror frames. We have our stainless steel mirror frame with the lighting fixtures as well. Right there, dead center in the middle. We have our cabinetry for more storage. We have an oversized soaking tub right here. Wow. Look how much space you have in here. Goodness gracious. So right over here, you have a nice little area, some more windows to bring in natural light. Look at the oversized walk-in shower. Wow, you cannot get much better than this. Brush nickel in here. Look at the shower floor, two shower niches with the window right there. Man, it really can't get much better than that. So inside of here, you have two closets. So fella, the, this is gonna be yours right here. All right, but you definitely have plenty of space. They didn't leave out any room in here for us so that's good you have access to the attic on top and then you have this this little nook area again for more storage if you wanted to add maybe a pocket door in here you can certainly do so but just look at that all right i like that but ladies let's go look at your closet the reason why i say that is because you are going to have a full vanity in your closet which is great of course, you got your toilet right there, but look at this. Wow. Ladies, you have a door that you can close and just do your makeup in peace. You may want to put a lock on that door so that way your man or whoever is coming in, your partner isn't coming in here and busting in, rushing you. But wow, all this storage space. You have these drawers right here, soft closing drawers. You have these two windows on here so that way you get some more light in here. But wow, you really cannot get much better than this. Just look at the amount of space that you have in here. And I love that they added the quartz countertops inside of here. They didn't compromise any quality in here. Wow. Look at that. You really just cannot get much better than that. And of course, you have this area right here. So you can easily just go ahead and put some decorations if you wanted to on this side or really just leave it bare so that way you can have that natural light coming in that everyone so much loves. Man, you really just cannot get much better than that. So let's go ahead and continue. We'll go straight ahead and that way you can see the upstairs game room. So I love that we have wood flooring in here. Of course, we did have the carpet in the bedrooms, but you know, that's cosmetic. So if it's something where you don't want that, you can easily get that replaced. And no, uh, what I'll do is I'll make sure to show the office area um, after this store. I know it's occupied right now, but I'll see if I can get you in there if possible. And then of course, right here, we have an attic area. Go ahead and put your storage stuff that you don't need or that's seasonal. And folks, before the tour is over, if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Always great to have you. I certainly appreciate the continued support, definitely. And if this is your first time to the channel, my name is Marcus Rink and I am a Texas realtor. I get calls, texts, and emails every single week from folks looking to make a move to Texas. So regardless if it's Houston, Dallas, Austin, San Antonio, you name it, we'll get you taken care of. Just reach out to the information below, we'll book a call find out how we can help. 
and consider hitting that subscribe button. I'd love for you to become a part of the ranking family. And that way, you know, when I release a new video every week. Wow. So the amount of space that you have in here is insane. <laughs> Look at this. We have two bunk beds over here. We have a game table over here, plus a huge couch and you still have plenty of space. So really, if you wanted to just deck this whole room out to your own individual liking, that certainly is the case. You may not need the two bunk beds over here. You may do. I mean, really just depends. But, you know, you add a ton of theater like seats. You can have 40, 50 people up here. OK, maybe 30. I say 30 people, but goodness, you can easily fit them up here and really don't have any challenges. Look at this. Wow. So if you wanted to maybe add a projector screen that just kind of comes down from the ceiling, you know, uh, black that out. So that way no light comes in and just have that nice ambiance. Wow. You really can't get much better than this. So that was the upstairs, but really quite frankly, I mean, like I said, this property is over 5,000 square feet. So just the amount of space that you have in here is amazing. So let's go ahead and take a look at the backyard. Like I said, you had multiple points of exit from here. You have four to be transparent with you, which is perfect. But I wanna show you the main area where most folks would probably hang out especially if you have family or guests over. Wow. So you have the high ceilings inside of here. The patio extends all the way over there. So if you come from your primary bedroom, you come straight out here, have all your patio equipment, nice grill. And then this would be your view. Wow. I've really, there's not much I could change about this i'd love to hear your thoughts but i give this one a 10. the stucco extends over here which i love they didn't add any brick back here keep it simple and again like i said you have your sliding doors right here again for four points of entry and exit but just look at the amount of space that we have here you just cannot get much better than this and it's just so quiet over here there's not like a major freeway that's next door that you have to worry about. Look at that. And look how much space you have in between your neighbors. And over there, you have that line of trees over there so you don't even have to worry about your neighbors. So this is perfect for folks that wanna be out here and on some acreage. But other than that, folks, that was the lovely Jamestown Estate Homes. And this is gonna be your study. So inside of here, you do have the tall baseboards again and you definitely have plenty of space which i so much love of course right here you are going to have a full-size closet that's perfect and then i'll do one last pan so that way you can see the last door right here you have your coat closet which is absolutely perfect All right, Rankin family. So that was the beautiful Jamestown Estate Homes right here in High Meadow Estates. Like I said, this is northwest of Houston in Magnolia, Texas. This model is for sale. And if it's something where you do want this property or you're interested in this community or any property that I showcase on this channel, reach out to the information below so we can book a call, find out your situation and how we can help and consider hitting that subscribe button again. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you folks on the next property tour.